We're, uh, we have deep integration inside um, all the major en engines, including, uh, of course, the Unreal Engine. <laughs> and what we're going to show you here is uh, this is a simple level we designed just to, to show off the effect. Um, we have a, a little uh, physics particle emitter on the ground here inside of this um, inside of this little uh, object on the ground. And uh, we're going to start with this simple scene where you've got these kind of boring particles. Um, they are actually, uh, there is a bit of physics going on here and then there's interactions. Um, but as you can see, the actual, what, what's, what's happening in terms of um, actual physical uh, effects here is just moving up at some constant velocity. So it's, it's kind of boring. Um, one of the things that we've integrated into a number of games, including Batman, uh, is this thing we call turbulence, which is a real fluid simulation, which is a much richer uh, and more interactive and interesting uh, simulation that you can, you can apply to, uh, to particles. Um, so what we have inside of uh, the Unreal Engine, and actually before I get into that, I want to show that this particle system that I just talked about is actually inside of the, um, it, it can actually be edited directly inside of the Unreal Engine. So you can, you can go in here, for example, you can open up these uh, different parameters that we have, and uh, you can play with, say you want to change the colors of this, of, this, uh, of this physical simulation, you can go in there and, hey, let's make it really red, you know, do that, and it actually changes in real time, so you add a red tint to it. All right, let's undo that and um, and show you some uh, some turbulence effects. See, it's just not, I'm really doing this, as you can tell. So, uh, okay, so 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 as we said, let's make the simulation a little bit richer. So what we can do is we can actually move this. See this this large grid we have here is actually a turbulence actor that you can place inside the scene, and uh, and 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 what you what that does is it actually applies uh, uh, an actual turbulence fluid simulation, or learning grid fluid simulation, to the particles that enter it, right? So we have an emitter now emitting particles. Uh, there are no forces in the scene, so what we can do is we can then add a, a jet to actually inject forces. And then you can run it, and as simple as that, all of a sudden, you've got a richer, richer interaction. Now, one thing that's missing, though, the rendering, there's no shadows, and there's no shadows within the, the smoke, so, so wouldn't that be cool? So what you can do, that this is also directly integrated inside of, uh, inside of the Unreal Engine, you can open up the, perimeter, the parameters for the, for the actual uh, emitter, say cast opacity shadows, which is this new technique we call PSM, which is part of the, the, uh, the, the, the GameWorks library, which is a, a deep shadow mapping, particle shadow mapping effect. You can adjust some of these parameters, um, because actually it turns out that this, is, uh, this, this grid is a little bit larger than the default parameters allow for. So we can change these, uh, the parameters of the shadow map, go right back into the in the, into, the, uh, into the level, and now you've got real shadows, and you can actually play with uh, and get real interesting turbulent effects. Just automatic. And so all these things are built directly into the Unreal Engine, and it's part of what we provide 